Every day in the USA, people find themselves in court. All right. Good morning. We're going to go through the docket as quickly as we can so that we can start on the jail docket. 2021 CR19158, State versus Matthew Aldridge. You, are you Matthew, Matthew Aldridge? Are you Matthew Aldridge? Uh, I'm the attorney of fact, Matthew Aldridge. You were what? The attorney of fact. Attorney what? Um, fact. Attorney of fact. And what does that mean? Is authorization to do legal work. Are you a licensed attorney? No, I'm simply an attorney of fact. Okay. And does that mean you have a power of attorney? What is your name? What is your name? My name? Yes, sir. Uh, I don't have Really you don't not. have a name? Pardon? I'm an attorney of fact for the respondent in the area. Well, <clears throat> let me explain to you. Only an attorney at law can stand in court and represent a criminal defendant. And to do so otherwise violates the criminal law statutes of the state of Tennessee and could land someone who attempts to represent themselves as an attorney at law in um, serious trouble. Yeah. I understand what you're saying. I understand you're saying an attorney in fact. And what I want you to understand is, is that if you have a power of attorney, then you need to demonstrate that power of attorney. Do you have a legal document called a power of attorney? No, I do not this time. Okay. Then you don't have any authority to act on behalf of Matthew Aldridge in this court. You have no legal authority, nor do you have any uh, authority through a legal document to represent or, or to act on behalf of Matthew Aldridge. Mm -hmm. Why don't we just let me Show it to the bailiff and he'll show it to me. Oh, well, apparently there's a copy here. <clears throat> All right. This is in the state of Tennessee of Cheatham County and Chantry Court, which is filed in the wrong county because in the wrong court because this is circuit court. You just be quiet. You go to the courthouse, it comes up. You need to listen to me instead of talking, okay? This is a challenge to the standing. The Supreme Court of the United States has stated that no corporation has standing anything to man. <clears throat> and then there's a quotation for a Rundle versus Delaware Raritan Canal Company. And then it said, as well as it being a maximum of law, citing certain uh, Latin uh, phrases, Dissimilar things ought not to be joined by a definition of Black's Law Dic Dictionary. So the respondent in error requires that the state of Tennessee Incorporated and Cheatham County Chantry Court prove their standing to proceed against a man in any court of law. You have 15 calendar days to prove your standing or forever yield to estoppel, waiver, and fraud, and cease and desist this proceeding immediately. More time is available if requested. And then this was signed by Matthew O'Neill Aldridge. Is that your signature? That's the defendant's uh, signature. That's the signature. All right. Well, I find that Matthew Neil Aldridge has failed to appear uh, in personally in this court for the plea day on his case, which was set for trial tomorrow. And as a result, you have no standing, sir, under the the. Uh, what I know what you're trying to do is to try to use the sovereign citizen approach to this situation. And I'm simply telling you that you do not have the right to represent Matthew Neil Aldridge. If you are in fact, Matthew Neil Aldridge, then you need to say so and stop this nonsense because that what you're attempting to do has no legal effect. You cannot challenge the criminal law or the, circ or the jurisdiction of this court by simply filing some legal mumbo jumbo having to do with civil litigation. That has civil litigation in it. It is not a criminal case that you have cited. So it has no effect on this court regarding the criminal statutes of this court. This court is empowered under this constitution of the United States of America and the constitution of the state of Tennessee and by the duly elected citizens of Cheatham County to empower and enforce the laws of the state of Tennessee. And that is what I'm going to do regarding Matthew Lynn Aldridge. <clears throat> Mr. Aldridge is uh, set for today to appear in court personally on a, what we call our last plea day before his trial date tomorrow. Any questions? 
Is that an Article 3 trial? Do what? Would that be an Article 3 trial? A trial by jury with jury? It would be a trial by jury, certainly it would be. But I don't know who you are. And I don't think you have any authority if you are not Matthew Len Aldridge to appear before this court. And you are wasting valuable time to all of these other citizens who are here today. So when I'm talking, you stop talking. No, uh, you will when I'm finished talking. You are wasting the court's time by doing this. And I'm just simply instructing you that if you are, in fact, Matthew Len Aldridge, then this is your last day to settle your case. The trial date is set for tomorrow, and unfortunately, it will not go forward because of the fact that I have a conflict and I have, a, I have to be in Stewart County on a civil matter. So we're going to assign a new trial date for Matthew Lynn Aldridge. <clears throat> General, we're going to need to set a trial date in July. July 15th. I'm sorry? July 15th. July 15th. All right. To uh, Matthew Aldridge and the individual standing before me, whose name must not be altered, uh, must not be all uttered, um, then we will set a July fifteenth trial date for Mr. Aldridge. <clears throat> Your whatever this document is that you have filed um, is in fact invalid because it does not cite any valid criminal statute and therefore um, deny whatever that might be in the way of a motion. The trial date will be July 15th, the last day for Mr. Aldridge to enter a plea or go to trial will be July the 8th, July the 8th. Now, <clears throat> we're gonna give you a card. If you are in fact Matthew Aldridge and you're just playing games with the court regarding this uh, nonsense that you filed, then you may, get his card and you may go on about your business. If you are not Matthew Aldridge, then I would suggest to you, you relay to Mr. Aldridge that he must appear on July the 8th or a bond revocation will take place and his case will be set, uh, will take place with him in jail, incarcerated on the 15th. That's the judgment of the court. You need to take your piece of paper and go on about your business. <clears throat>